So today I'm joining in with this month's vlog stars, um, which is a linky run by you, baby, me, mummy, and um, Mr. and Mrs. T plus three. Um, this month they have set the subject of parenthood highs and lows, and I need to tell you five highs and five lows. Um, I, th I found it quite hard actually to think of the answers because I don't want to be specific to my children as such because I don't want to feel like I'm leaving them out um, but what I'm going to do I'm going to start with the lows and we're going to end on a high uh, so my parenthood lows um, one of them is when my children are sick and I mean vomiting I have a I would say a bit of a phobia of sick and I struggle to clean it up and deal with it I'm bad enough when I'm sick myself um, and they always seem to pick the moment when daddy's at work and I've got to try and deal with it that is definitely a low for me. Um, another one, a, a low, as a parent, I think a lot of you will agree, is uh, the lack of sleep. Um, I I don't know about you, but I always like to have a good lie in. I, you know, at weekends, if I wasn't working, I wasn't getting out of bed for anybody. Whereas now, I get woken up at all times of the day, and you know, I I kind of live on coffee. Coffee is my best friend. Um, another one that I always struggled with when my children were younger, um, when there was something wrong with them, is the fact that they couldn't tell me what was wrong. And I found this hard as a parent because, you you know, as a parent you want to help your children. And when, you know, you don't know what's wrong and you're going through all these options and trying to work it out, it becomes frustrating not only for you but the child as well. Um, I think another low for me, um, I've had this a couple of times, is a when you feel like you, you know your child is a bit lonely like they don't have friends I've noticed my kids before in the playground kind of standing by themselves and um, they've come to me before when they've had problems with their friends and it's hard because as a parent you you can't pick their friends you can't live their life for them they have to make their own mistakes but watching them go through it it, it can be heartbreaking sometimes um, and the last one for me I suppose is a low um, as a parent I can feel quite isolated sometimes, quite lonely because um, I mean when I started having kids my friends weren't, I was you know I was 19, I was quite young um, so then they were still going out, I was by myself with the children and nowadays you know the husband works away a lot um, and I don't have a, a big group of friends and you know it can feel quite lonely sometimes so I think that that is a big low for parenting that you know you do feel by yourself a lot of the time but um let's bring it back up a bit um my highs of parenting well the first one might seem a bit you know the cop out but uh being pregnant i i think as soon as you're pregnant you are a parent and i personally loved every minute of being pregnant and if um if the husband hadn't gone and had the snip done i'd have quite happily had a couple more children i think you know i love being a mum and being pregnant part of that you know it's a really great experience. I think it, it, different every time, and I, I loved having the baby bump. Um, another really lovely moment, I think, is uh, the moment when your your child tells you, "I love you," because you know they love you. But when you hear it, it just it it just confirms it for you. It makes it that bit more special. Um, it is one of you know one of them times that just you know you like, your heart melts. Um, a, a parenthood high for me um, as well is when people compliment my children on how polite they are, how well behaved they are. I think it makes me feel good as a parent and makes me feel like I've, you know, I'm doing a good job. I know, you know, in my head I know I'm bringing them up right, but when you get compliments from other people, it just makes you feel even better about it, you know, and it makes you really proud of your children. Um, and that, I think another high is uh, obviously those those first moments, all of those, the first time they walk, the first twos, you know, all those silly little things, I think you you tend not to forget them, they're very, you know, they stick out in your mind, I could tell you exactly when, you know, my kids crawled and walked and rolled over, but they're all, you know, for every parent, I think it's a special moment, and it, you know, they are, they just make you smile, um, and I think the, the biggest high for me, personally, as a parent, is just, watching my children grow watching them excel in what they do watching them learn and watching them become more confident in themselves i think it it's nice to know that you don't have to worry about them so much as much 
you know, I'd like to keep them little as babies. It, it's nice to see them growing up and um, becoming independent. And I think it makes you proud. And it, again, it's one of those moments where you think, I must be doing something right, which, you know, can never be a bad thing. Um, so there we have it. There's my parenthood highs and lows. Um, I'm sorry to waffle on, but, you know, hopefully some of you feel the same as I do in some respects. I'm going to leave a link in the comments below uh, to the Vlogstars link in case you want to join in yourselves. Um, please do comment and um, please do subscribe.